On that gruesome scene at a local petting zoo, animals attacked and killed. I'm Daniel Muddy. And I'm Natasha Paloma. It happened at the famed Licon Dairy. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields was there earlier today. And we want to warn you, some may find the images in this story disturbing. This is a KTSM 9 News update. The petting zoo here is currently closed indefinitely after dogs dug in last night and attacked the animals here. Obviously. We're temporarily closing for a few days, a couple of days just so we can, you know, clean up and kind of figure out what we're going to do and, you know, you know, we can, we can replace the animals, but it's, it's just, you know, they, they were part of the family, so that's what hurts a little bit more. Farm managers tell KTSM a pair of dogs, a German Shepherd, and a Pipple mix mauled and killed 10 petting zoo animals last night, including deer and sheep. Several others were severely wounded. It's more an emotional that, that we're dealing with right now, and it, mainly the, the animals' condition. The animals that are, are alive, they're very, you know, some are very severely injured. The El Paso County Sheriff's Office says San Elisario Marshals are investigating the case, but farm managers tell me they just want the dog owners to take responsibility. We just, you know, want people to know that maybe they can take care of their, their dogs a little bit more, because it's not even the dog's fault, it's, you know, the owners that should secure their, their pets a little bit more. Leaving the community shaken and sad. It's a shame this happened because this place is historic and the kids have a great time with those animals. So it's a shame to lose those animals. And people say this attack should warn pet owners to watch their dogs closely. People who have pets need to be careful that they aren't loose because just like how they attack these animals, they can attack kids and people too. The petting zoo manager says he does plan to open up the petting zoo once again after the injured animals are treated and they clean up after the damage. Reporting in San Elisario, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News.